This is Dr. Ali McGabel and welcome again and we are doing angle modulation, the big picture. In about five minutes, I'll try to cover the big picture of the FM modulation. So the following expression is the modulated signal. The information could be in the amplitude, <coughs> sorry, the amplitude could be time varying or the angle. When we say angle modulation, it means the angle is going to carry the information and the amplitude will not be function of time. What you see in red is the phase of the signal and it's related to the instantaneous frequency. So the instantaneous frequency is the derivative of the phase, or if you like, the phase is the integration of the instantaneous frequency. The following expression shows you the general form for the phase modulated signal. The phase, the message is proportional with the phase of the, of the signal. You can find from here the phase, which is the argument of the cosine. Similarly, we can write the general form for the FM. Since the frequency is related to the derivative, we need to start here with the integral. So it's a very similar expression, except that we have k sub f, and then we have the integral of the message. So now the frequency or the instantaneous frequency will be a function of uh, the derivative. Here we have the phase and we have the frequency, and hence the name phase and frequency modulation. They are related to each other, as you can see, the difference is the integral. So using frequency modulator, we can get an FM signal by using a phase modulator preceded by integration. We also can have phase modulator by a frequency modulator preceded by a differentiator. So they are related to each other. We also can um, learn together how to sketch an FM or PM signal. Since the amplitude is going to be constant, all you need to know is what is the frequency. So we can use this equation. In case if you have discontinuity and you want to sketch the PM signal, you'll find that the frequency is related to the derivative so you need to start from the phase. So one thing you need to, to gain is how to sketch FM signals. Now the FM signal in general uh, can be written in an extended mathematical form as a series. So this is equivalent to this. Uh, and under certain condition, we can show that all these terms will be very small, negligible if, if k f times a of t, a of t is the integral of the message, is very small. So we can get a special case where we have narrow band FM or narrow band phase modulation. And they look like double side band, except that we are integrating uh, the message here and the carrier is minus sine rather than cosine. We can implement this narrow band generator by direct implementation of the signal. So this integral because we have A, which is the integral of the message. If you want the phase modulated signal, all you need to do is remove the integral and then we have um, KP instead of KF. So this, this circuit is direct implementation of the green equation here. Using the, the narrow band generator, we can find wide band generator, wide band FM. But we need to start from defining the modulation index or also called the, the deviation ratio, frequency deviation ratio, beta, which is a ratio between delta F and B. Delta F, of course, we can find it from how much change on the sentence frequency. So we divide by two by to get in hertz. And then the maximum value will, will give you delta F. Notice the difference between delta F and frequency and phase. Here, this is proportional to the peak of the message. This is proportional to the peak of the derivative of the message. Uh, using delta F, we can find, we can estimate the bandwidth of the FM or PM signal using the bandwidth equal to two times delta F plus B, or in terms of beta, we can write it in that format. It's just the same thing. It's the same for FM and PM. Uh, we also learn how to generate wideband FM using direct method, which is ex which is uh, expensive and non and non uh, stable. Then we went into Armstrong indirect method. For the reception, uh, we have we had some examples for Armstrong, and then we went for the demodulation where we use frequency discriminator or a differentiator. We can also use phase locked loop. Both of them work perfect. Uh, a differentiator will make the signal not just FM, it will be FM and AM at the same time, which allows to the use of envelope detection, of course, with a blocking DC. We also concluded this chapter or this part of, the, of, of uh, modulation, which is angle modulation, by considering a typical FM receiver, the band of frequencies used, the bandwidth of the channel, the intermediate frequency. We, we explained the superheterodyne concept, which, is, um, uh, which include the intermediate frequency. We also looked at the phase locked loop and uh, we have, uh, we can receive just like 
uh, in the AM we can receive with differentiator with envelope detector or PLN. We introduced the concept of monophonic and stereophonic and the concept of pre-emphasis and the emphasis. So have a good time. Thank you for being good listeners.